conversations in the beginning. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Um, all right. Well, does anybody recall what happened from the last time we played? Uh, team I remember playing with our children. <laughs> okay. Uh, you also had a uh, player versus player rap battle over poems. Oh, yeah, oh yes, the rap battle. It was so long ago. <laughs> and you also <laughs> found out um, uh, Northwind told you that the uh, carnival is controlled by Mr. Witch and it had something to do with a watch. Um and then Brandywine was very defensive about it, saying you can't tell secrets. So, um, some of you picked up on that, some of you did not, uh, which is completely okay. Uh, you also went on thrill rides with some dragonflies. Some of you almost dropped to your death. <laughs> uh, having... I was fine. Oh, you're fine, yeah. Um, and after having a thrill ride with the dragonflies, you came across to the bobble pop teapot which you came across a few children like you mentioned before two of which had uh, their set of wings and two others that did not however the two with wings tried to trick one of you by drinking with the teas which you were very unfazed as you drank dirt and ate a centipede listen I don't uh, judge for people's cultures <laughs> of course not um and in pursuit uh, was Brandywine, Double Morp, uh, PBNJ, Gek, and the Sorcerer uh, headed their way after the children um, with the shouts from Brandywine trying to stop them. And you made your way down to a roller coaster that was owned by an old wizard uh, by the name of... Zavixo. And Brandywine and Zavixo don't have a good eye and eye confrontation. Let's just say a good attitude towards each other. Um, but <laughs> in the end, you watch as the earlier carts where you think the children went through the tunnels and you are now joining that ride, following in pursuit. So, with that being said, um, we'll start off with the those who are on the roller coaster before hopping over to um, Treg and Knox, who are still sipping on tea. So, as you guys are buckled in into your carts, you start hearing the tick, tick, tick of the tracks underneath of you moving forward, and you watch as behind you, you watch um, as the wizard becomes a bit of a distant. And the roller coasters are starting to catch up to speed. So before I uh, do anything here, I'm going to have you guys uh, flip over to the new map I made for you. So bear with me. So this might take a little bit of time to actually upload. And it's going to be, let's just say it's going to be interesting. So let me know if you guys are okay to move forward or if anything load up perfectly fine. This looks fun. Uh, I All see right. it, the mystery mine. Mystery mine. All right. So as you're going through the mouth of the first tunnel, you go through and immediately you see darkness. And as you come to the other side, immediately the cart flies downwards in a huge spiral going further and faster and faster and faster. And then suddenly, eyes start to form all around you, splinking and almost you hear tiny whispers whips, uh, just muttering around you. I need you guys to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> it's because you wow. stole my name. <laughs> now it was your fault. She... No, you're the one who stole it. The other one who gave it to me. It's going to be hilarious when somebody does the history or whatever check to realize that's not how Okay, good. Works. I did not roll a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> did I roll off the sheet? Is it just at wisdom or? Uh, yep, just, uh, just click on wisdom. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. Uh. Uh, rolling it. Yeah, in the saving throws box, just uh, hover over wisdom, and when it turns red, you click on it. That's what it should be doing. But there it goes. It was there. You go. Okay, there something's disjointed. Well, it's like I have to like click on the side of it for it to even show up. Okay, well that's a wisdom. Check. That's a wisdom check. That's that's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, shit. the only it's fine. <laughs> The only one who has been affected hot is one second. Um, she's does, very focused. That. that doesn't work. Does the dumpled mm -hmm. warp the badger have to make a wisdom save too, or no? Well, since <laughs> Treg is not here. <laughs> well, I don't even know if it came with me. If it's this familiar, it probably it, just it, poofed out of my hands. Nope. It stays with you. Because it, uh-huh. So I'm going right. to have to do it for him. <laughs> oh, wait, I think any of us can. No. No, we all can see him. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I wasn't saving throw good. And, I wasn't saving throw <laughs> plus two higher, because I have a six on the saving throw, so I... Fuck that up. Okay. Nice. No, you're fine. Like I said, it's fine. So the only ones who have been affected is Gek and Dumbledore. <laughs> so um as PB and J, you're holding this badger, you immediately start having Bumble uh Dumbledore is scrabbling all over your face and then just like clawing into your metal and just screeching in your eyes and just his eyeballs are looking into your eyeballs. <laughs> As for Gek, you just like, you're looking at all these different eyeballs looking at you and you hear these whispers and you just clutch your head and you feel the internal ringing and you start screaming. So I'm going to make you, um, those, make sure as you, with each check, make sure you are those who have made successfuls, make sure you are taking note of that and those who have failed. So make sure you have that going on. So as the ride continues, um, going past the spiraling madness of the first tunnel, you continue going around until the next uh, smaller curve, seeing rocks and different futures and rivers as you're going along these tunnel ways. And as you're going down, the, t the ride itself starts to slow down a little bit as it's kind of like arching upwards along a curve. And you sit there almost feeling the weight of gravity pull you guys back as it's inching its way up. And then you just see right on the other side is a big hole of flames. So you guys are going to make me another wisdom check. <laughs> oh, dear. Wisdom That's check another... or saving throw? Wisdom, save. wisdom saving throw is a big hole of fire. The man a formerly man known as the sorcerer. He <laughs> <laughs> fears nothing. <laughs> All right, and I will make sure Dumplemorp is making sure. I am probably, he rolled a three. I'm probably still talking to myself. I am so sorry. That's okay. I clicked on the button and I rolled for him before, but yeah, that's. Eh, well, that's right. All right, so Dumplemorp. Okay, he's, he's, he's calmed down after you kind of like pull him mm. back into your lap and keeping him under the bar, uh, PB&J. Um, and you guys all made successful saving throws, so fire did not is not much of a threat to you guys as you continue making your way, slamming yourself down towards this pit of hell, and you feel the uh, creaks of the brakes of the carts underneath you screech in your ears as it makes a sharp turn and followed by another turn, and you feel the heat plaster over your skin and feel the scorch against your metal um, there, PB&J. But for you kind of go off into another section um, and you're making a little corkscrew and you're dangling upside down, hands in the air. Well, Dumplemorp kind of like hanging. <laughs> just like <laughs> don't care. Well, Dumplemorp is just clinging to the metal man while some of those who are kind of tiny like Gek is gripping for <laughs> dear life onto the bar um, as you're falling in pursuit of the other cart. And just before you guys uh, make another uh, check here, I'm going to make you guys make a perception check for me. 
Perception. Keep perception. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's that's great. Mm. Oh, mm. salty. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, right, now and... I have high rolls on these or high numbers on these, <laughs> but the dice do not agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Phoebe, you turned off your optical sensors. What's wrong? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out what perception was again on top of my head. Wisdom plus. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So the only two people who can spot out the next curve is the sorcerer and double mort. So sorcerer, as you're coming along. hmm? No, the man man formerly known. (laughs) You can call me the sorcerer. I get it. (laughs) <laughs> the wrestler. The wrestler. <laughs> you could just say that. Okay. <laughs> the wrestler <laughs> and Dumplemorp, as you guys are coming along the bend of the corkscrew and hanging upside down, you see something quite odd in the corner of your eye. And as you're turning your head towards the right a little bit, you see a giant gap between two parts broken and in between it you see large tentacles stretching out towards it uh, up in the air so let me go ahead and reveal that for you for those anyways and while the others are probably having their eyes closed tight as this is going on and we'll have to make another wisdom saving throw if you guys don't mind all of us again all Little badger again. creature, please get your furry ass out of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Inability to oh, use wow. optic centers. He is just mm. screeching in your face. <laughs> this is worth it for the crap girl's gotten all me for the past like two <laughs> sessions. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. So the only one. Whew. Okay. Well, <clears throat> those who have made it is the wrestler. PB and J, Gek, and Dumplemort. As you guys are going along this track, immediately your cards separate while Brandywine goes towards the tentacles. Oh my god, this is no! (laughs) I've seen where this one's going. (laughs) You're going to make me a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw? Oh no. A strength saving throw. Oh no. (laughs) Okay. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> as your cart is heading towards this big giant gap, you're fearing for your life, and you see these tentacles pile up in front of you, wrapping around your cart, thrashing you every which way, and you're gripping on tight as you're trying to keep a hold while you see your friends go off in the nice, friendly path around the tentacles, going along the cartway before the tentacles just wrap you around and just bring you almost down to the darkness before you see a giant mouth forming and gating and you see teeth coming at you before you see a big, large, purple <laughs> tongue just flick at you in the face. And then you just, you take one point of damage and you are now tossed back onto the cart, falling behind your buddies. So I got licked by the tentacle monster. More like you got uh, a heated lick slap <laughs> against the face. That is no better. <laughs> and as you join a your friends, lick slap. <laughs> a heated <laughs> lick slap. <laughs> and as you join your friends behind, um, following now the wrestler, uh, Gek. And PB and J, you are now back of the terra- of the chain here, and um, again, guys, make me another perception check as you're rounding the curve of the next thrill ride. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so much fun right now. I'm so distracted by whatever's going to come up next. I'm like, oh, this is fun. The tentacle, the fire. I removed the badger from my face. <laughs> <laughs> the badger is just squealing in your face. Just clinging on for dear life. 
You're, very, you're even getting no new scratches that look kind of decent in your middle arms. And some kind of like... audio balance noises. Background <laughs> noise eliminated. <laughs> so those who actually seen it is PB&J, Brandy, and uh, Gek. The one who doesn't is the wrestler. So as you guys rejoin together, you see another much larger gap. But you see crystals floating around the surface, just spiraling and spiraling. And you see them coming. I need you all to make me a strength saving. No. 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 (laughs) (laughs) EB and J is stuck holding uh, Dumbledore. (laughs) Pretty much. Dumbledore. A little preoccupied. (laughs) Wow. <laughs> oh no. It's like goodbye to the badger. <laughs> Trig is gonna kill me. <laughs> Be free, oh. badger. <laughs> Be free. <laughs> no. So, Intercede Jesse, on the badger's no. behalf. <laughs> As you guys are rearing towards this next gap that's much larger than it was in the tentacles, you see these spiraling crystals, and each one, the first one that goes through, is the wrestler. The wrestler, you see, you just managed to get wiggles between the rotation of the crystals, but then all of a sudden, you feel a slam as your cart hits a wall, a visible wall, and you drop. Followed by Gek. Even though your cart was perfectly fine, and you go towards the, after the source, the wrist of the wrestler, you too hit the wall. Same with the rest of you, and you guys plummet down into the unknown. But before we do that, I'm going to jump over. I have no idea if Treg is back. <laughs> is he back? Is Treg? I don't think he is. Darn it. Okay, well, I'll don't hold worry, on. Doc's able, to... able to fill in the time all by himself. I can talk to myself. Yes. <laughs> but I will jump back to the two who are having a tea party. So, and with the uh, special uh, goblin ha- who has a very nice frown on his face and not looking very happy or thrilled to be here and kind of s- situated against his post, looks at the both of you, you, uh, uh, Tomaros and Fee, who happens not here yet, but that's okay. So as you're if sipping we away... If we want to wait for Treg, we can, uh, we can just do the other scene. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, just we keep going. Yeah. Just okay, keep going. all right. Well, we'll keep going. Well, let's go back. Oop. <laughs> all right. So as you guys plummet, you immediately fall almost about, you don't know how long, but you've continuously to fall and fall and fall. And all of a sudden, strangely, your carts start to float down until they rest peacefully into a resting area. And you're immediately seeing a open cavern and an abandoned mine with, an, with cupboards and spider webs and equipment here and there and mushrooms. So for those four who are in there, go ahead and drop your tokens where this cart is, if you can see it. Who was first? The, the first, first one uh, who have you, the wrestler. <laughs> the wrestler was first. Then it was Gek. Then it was Salty and Dumplemorp. And then there was Brandy. But you all managed to be safe and strangely in a very weird predicament as you look around you in a odd cavern. I don't think we're at the fair anymore. Where the hell are we? Uh, do I know if this is part of the ride? You do not know. I, uh, I haven't really been to the minecart ride for a while. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Is it dark? Uh, no, it's actually, well, the cavern that you're in is strangely lit. There is a uh, few lanterns here and there, and an odd portal in the middle there. That's glowing yellow and orange in the center. 
teeth. You can say it's teeth. <laughs> but you don't know until you check it out. I mean, I'm right here. I think I'd be able to tell from 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> does it look like a tooth or does it just have to be in the shape of a tooth? <laughs> it looks more like it's the shape of a tooth. It's basically a, a, almost like carved in a way, like just like an enclosed portal. Keeping it circular, you know, keeping mm. it in, in place. Hmm. But as you guys are um, coming out of your carts, you realize as you're looking around a little bit, um, you don't see the other cart that you guys were following on the track before. To mention it, to think about it, somehow it disappeared when you slammed into the visible wall within the crystals. Query. Did anyone keep our receipts? I demand a refund of this ride. <laughs> I too! As, you, as the wrestler flexes, demand a refund! Once you find that stupid wizard. <laughs> yeah, uh, good luck with that. Um, I, well, I will cast to... Fist on him! I would like to try and look for tracks or signs of... Um... Signs of, of the life? People. Yeah, signs of life. Sure. Roll me investigation. Can I do survival? Or survival. And those who want to do it too, you can make a perception, investigation, or survival of your own. Take that as a no. So it's just the only one that's doing it is Brandywine? Well, no, I was, I'm I'm giving was all the oh, Okay. <laughs> I was going to see if I can investigate the, uh, like, stuff down here and see if I can get an idea of, like, age. Okay. Like, how long this stuff has been down here or if it's been, like, recently used. Okay. Can I assist him provide advantage on the roll? Yes, he can. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, Gary's right. just looking around. <laughs> All right, Gek is looking around. All right. Or is he? <laughs> or is he? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Brandywine, as you're like looking around for tracks of or anything knowledgeable of life, um, you strangely don't see anything. Um, you look around and you see these uh, supposable wooden boards that walk that continue following north. Um, up to an art, another small cave that's kind of, kind of like uh, hold it up together by boards, as as you would as in a mine. Um, and off to the right of you, you see a rickety bridge with kind of like a little uh, loose for wear and covered in spider webs as well. Um, as that's going on, uh, PB and J, with the help of the wrestler. Um, you're looking over this uh, equipment and all these tools and everything, and they kind of, uh, from their appearance, some of them look a little old and rusted, but upon closer inspection, as you pick it up, it's cardboard. Declaration. These are fake. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, very fake. Sarcasm, much fake. like a wrestler, I know. <laughs> um, and Gek, as you're like looking around, doing your own little thing, your eyes are going in separate ways, uh, kind of like pick packet, uh, pickpocketing towards your friend's movements, looking over everything, and the flicker of lights coming from where um, Brandy's stepping near the portal and looking around. And you also catch another tiny light that's a little bit above the the ca uh, the cave um, above it, and you just like you can't make out what it is, but you do see uh, a a spider webbed ladder that looks like it's leading up to above the tiny built in cave. So 
sorry, Baha. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Gek's gonna I... hop off the little ledger and start walking towards the ladder. Okay. Alright, and what is the remainder of you doing? I see rocks and stuff. Is this just a piece of wood, or is this supposed to be indicated as something else? Oh, you just pinged? Yeah, well, I just pinged. It's like a bridge or it's something? It's a bridge. It's a bridge. Covered in spider webs. And looks worse for wear. So you said that there wasn't, there was a little bit of disturbance, or no? You, I said that you, um, you see a boarded walkway that leads up towards a built-in cavern that's held up by pillars of wood, like someone made makeshift the little tunnel there, and you see the um, bridge that is worse for wear. Looks like, eh, maybe somewhat passable, but with all the spider webs on it. Um, you don't know there. So Wait. Brandy is going to be looking around and is going to say, uh, I don't think this is backstage. I think this is a hole. How tall is Gex's ladder? Well, Gex's ladder is about 10 feet tall. Hmm. The ladder looks worse for wear, right? The ladder is covered in spider webs. The answer is simple. We launched the Gek up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gek's already oh, trying no. to climb it. <laughs> All right, Gek. Um... I would need you to make a strength check. Just a strength check. Just, just flat strength. Just strength. Just strength. As you put your hand onto this ladder, your hand immediately gets stuck to it because of the webs. And you try to yank yourself back. Nope. You immediately feel the web pull you back in. And now you're attached wow. to the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I'm stuck! Yeah, I can see that. Um, I don't think... As a witch-like hand, does Brandy know if we keep arachnids of unusual size? Nope. Not the AOUSs. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you do not. Uh so good news and bad news. Um good mm -hmm. news <clears throat> spider webs and anything that makes them aren't normally part of the carnival. The bad news is we're kind of stuck in the same area of whatever made these <clears throat> And um, may can I use conjure flame to kind of burn away the cobweb? I would say so. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. Um. Immediately, you put, you conjure the flame, and you uh put it on the web, and it starts to sizzle right away, and Gek, you see the fire coming towards you. <laughs> 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 you feel the heat on your skin, but it fizzles out, and you immediately break away from the ladder. Oh, hush. I do this for a living. <laughs> Get. Can I just roll a wisdom check very quickly? I just want to see something. Sure. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Wisdom check? Uh-oh. 
Oh, wants to see how it reacts to the fire, I bet. <laughs> No. Oh, no. <laughs> Poorly. Not well. Nick tries to climb the ladder okay. again. You try to climb the ladder again? Okay. Well, so, wait, wait, yeah. As you start, you immediately start to uh, put your hand back on it. You're not stuck to it. And you're climbing up the ladder. Yay, and as you climb up the ladder, <laughs> you see a little bit of a clearing of a, kind of like an aloft. And you see... Strangely, a barista and a large pulley system with much more webbing and just a little campfire that's not used anymore. But that's where you saw the little torch light, as you see a little tor um, a tiny candle fl lantern lit there, um, kind of highlighting the old-fashioned barista on top of the clearing there. You kind of get a grande frappuccino on the. With a caramel drizzle. Oh, a ballista. ballista. A ballista, not a ballista. <laughs> barista. <laughs> Giant <laughs> barista. Hmm. <laughs> creepy That's ghost where girls. he went. Uh, <laughs> you know, that'd be a good thing at a tavern. Giant barista. Anywho. So what is the rest of you doing as Gek is most, most likely just wandering off on his lonesome? Following shortly up thereafter. To yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Reassessing odds of that little one living. <laughs> Callie, near zero. Must assist. <laughs> Don't All be right. a pessimist. PB. So are you touching the barista? Yes, I'm, just, I'm touching the barista. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as you put your hand on the nearest notch, you it doesn't do anything. I mean, it feels real as you knock against it and you feel the hollow sound of wood against your knuckles. But it doesn't do anything. There's nothing inside the holster or it's not drawn back. But it does look like it It can be pulled back. But there's nothing in its slot. Where it, must you touch everything, little lizard creature? Yes! And Gex is off to touch his fire. Well, not the fire, but it looks at it. Okay, so you look at this candle lantern. Very intrigued by it. Shiny. I, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I think that actually is real, as an, an actual flame. <laughs> God, my girl voices suck. Um. <laughs> you just have to embrace it. Embrace so uh, I can do RM, and that's the only female voice I can do. Gek remembering what uh, Brandywine did. It's gonna see if we can find a stick to start on fire. Well, you see a nearby, uh, what looks to be like a pickaxe on the ground next to the lantern. Ah, perfect. He's gonna run towards it. All right, you pick it up, and it's cardboard. Ah, perfect. I'm on fire. Oh, you. Uh, do, do you need light or something? What What are you doing with the? As you're talking, you basically... throw it on the webs. <laughs> okay, so you immediately throw it on this web upon this trolley, and you watch as it. It takes a moment to um to actually catch, but as you do so, you see something stir from up above as it's oh. slowly climbing its way up towards the ceiling. Uh, I want you guys to roll initiative ooh, if you don't what? mind. <laughs> what? No, hold on. Let's see. Hi, what's get the... Can... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, remember. <laughs> You're... Now oh, I'm the sorcerer. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. remember to select your token and then roll initiative, which is clicking on the initiative word. Uh, next to armor class. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, we're off to a wonderful start. That's okay. Both. What's your dex mod? Plus three? No go? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think you go, you go before me. And now it's up to you guys. Are you going to have Dumplemore fight with you? <laughs> um, let's, let's take a sprinkle. Uh, if we can do the sprinkle rule. <laughs> okay, I will try so... To put... I will try to this... put Dumplemorp in like a safe corner. Yeah, that'd be good. Or we can open your chest and have him shove in there. 
Sure. I, I can be a mecha for the badger. This is canon now. I just mecha badger and put double morph in there. So as you're lighting this on fire, you immediately see something brown and furry scuttle about and then spiral down towards you. All right, let me go ahead and bring it on here if I can, because this thing is massive. <laughs> Maybe. Massive? Oof. Not ma much of a massive. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, good. All right. So, it's yeah, pink. you see, it's pink. It's going to roll a 13. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a 13. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's, that's a 13, adorable. not a 20. All right. Let me find the turn order and change that for you guys. All right. Yeah, all right, so the first. Mm -hmm. Sorry, does anyone remember who all signed the thing I had at the beginning? I think I had the notes still set up. Um, uh, I verbally signed it. I'm you pretty verbal. sure I signed it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you signed I mean, it and didn't read it. Yeah. But you just wrote the sorcerer. Um, <laughs> it doesn't read. Uh, okay. <laughs> do I need to read the fight? Of course not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do, Brandy. Uh, okay. As a uh, executor of the where well, get these two from? So yes, all right. So the first one who happens to be the sorcerer, I believe, Gex that was your does Dex before. Is a no, third. Gex got higher Dex. He's got a plus three. Ah, he that he does. So let me move him. Whoop, yep. Gex, you're the first one. You see this spider sp spiraling down the uh, where you just burned the fire, trying to reconnect what it, you try to destroy. What do you do? Wait, so... Ooh. Uh, Gex sees a spider. Does it look like... Well, they kind of, I guess it is aggressive. I just burned its web. You don't know. It's your turn. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, one second. Seeing if I have anything. The pain train! Dex <laughs> <laughs> summons a train. I like trains. Would, would, would you say that the sorcerer is within five feet of me, or is he the uh, next square over? Do you mean the wrestler? Yes, the wrestler. Um, Looks like he's in this ten feet from you. I just, okay. I, if you want the me to fit people... Forward. Okay. <laughs> I know, it's really hard to see these squares. He's going for us to start climbing on this rope and get to the spider. So you're going to climb the rope to get to the spider? Attempt to, yes. All right, uh, well, make me an athletics check, and that's your action. Athletics. Athletics. You make it up there. there. <laughs> you... You don't even have to touch the rope. You basically start bolting your way through and you just leap high and you jump about almost 20 feet and you're just face oh, to face shit. with this creature as it's dangling Hi. there in this high in the sky. And oh, yeah. <laughs> you land right <laughs> underneath it on the little um, landing here, right on top of this pulley system. There you go. I'm good. Bye. <laughs> You're gonna die. Thanks for buying this long. <laughs> I don't know. We just started. <laughs> I'm in prior to even oh. coming here. Like, <laughs> does everyone well. remember Spurt? Hmm? Spurt. <laughs> Spurt. <laughs> Eleven days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, critical role reference. reference. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's a critical role okay. reference. Sorry. <laughs> it's the only one I know. And as you're like hovering uh, underneath the spider that's dangling above you, Gek, you look behind you and you feel the pulley system kind of waver underneath you as it doesn't, hasn't been supporting much over the years. And uh -oh. you feel, you hear the cracks of wood underneath your feet, but it doesn't do anything. It's 
not breaking, but you hear something. But anyways, did you want to continue moving anywhere else? Or are you just going to stay right there? Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. uh, can I go in the rage my bones section? You can. I would like to do that so they can't them. Okay. <laughs> Bring on the rage. Gek would like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Gek! <laughs> Hi, I'm Gek! You die! He even sounds like Spurt. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, with that in mind, it brings us back over to the man formerly known as the Sorcerer. You watch as this tiny kobold just leaps with impressive endurance and ability and lands right underneath the spider just screaming at him with introduction. What do you do? So, do I get the sense the spider could be negotiated with? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or is this gonna, or is this gonna ruin? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get the sense that Gek is going to impose violence on the spider? Hmm. You see the weird, tell. odd, raging look in his eyes <laughs> as he announces <laughs> himself, Hi, I'm Gek. <laughs> Twitching more than normal. <laughs> There's two things. I could throw an odd, because the spider's hanging 20 feet off the ceiling, right? Or off the floor, 20 mm -hmm. feet off the floor. Yep. So there's two options. I could throw an object at it. Or I can throw brandy wine. Oh, mm. uh, sh sure. <laughs> That's like... to get a closer look. <laughs> or I could just leave Gek to his uh out of the tentacles okay. into the spider web. What can go wrong? <sighs> okay, uh, I think I have an idea. Mm -hmm. So I am going to because right now it's like what twenty fish feet away from me. Mm -hmm. or so you just move five. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get closer. I am going mm -hmm. to pull out. I think I have a javelin, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a quick second to. I'm not going to throw it. Um, what I'm planning to do mm -hmm. is to use my action to hold my action. Mm -hmm. And then the condition for the held action is if the spider attacks Gek, then throw mm -hmm. the javelin at the spider. Okay. And that'll be my so, turn. All right. So as you're holding your uh, lance prepared in case the spider attacks, <laughs> the spider looks between Gek and then the party before spiraling back upwards towards the ceiling. And as you watch as it goes back up, you see about three more pairs of eyes. Well, I wouldn't so say three. Three more sets of eight? 24 pairs of eyes. Staring at all of you. Twenty-four pairs of eyes is forty-eight. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... more obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> We're in danger. danger three more danger spiders. Ones. Three more spiders are up above. <laughs> I was trying to do math. I can't do math right <laughs> now. <laughs> three more spiders are actually hanging up above. So, if you don't mind One of them doing is a mutant this. with 36 eyes. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Brandy, I just got... It's a rune night now. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> the spiders know how to transform into us. <laughs> You're making me cry. Stop it. <laughs> this is okay, a great when... session so far. <laughs> Are the course. <laughs> I'm. I should have punched the spider. That's okay. <laughs> They're okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> yes, we found the LGBTQ spiders. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no. I think those are colors from like thirty years ago. <laughs> No, so the spider Allies. went back up about a uh, further 10 feet up in the ceiling where now all those three spiders come into uh, fruition. So they're 30 feet above you, all looking down at you, kind of like 
almost an interest in something else. Mm. <laughs> but as it's like waiting there and kind of like weirdly communicating with its spider friends by jumping its legs on the webbing above you, you watch it quiver here and there and you watch as the others move their feet as well. So I'm going to add them into the uh, uh, the initiative. Oh, okay. So oh, let me... The initiative they must be evil. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Oof. Oof. Uh, but they don't go in till the next turn. So... <laughs> Madam, can you talk to them? Talk some sense into these. That didn't work. I'll fix the other one, because that one was supposed to be a 20 as well. Two 20s, a 13, and a 5. That's not good. No, the third one is not a 5. It's a 7. So within the turn order, it's actually Brandywine's turn. So thank God that I set this character up in such a way that Animal <laughs> Handler was in her wheelhouse. I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. All right. Um, so you get the... I just saw all these guys. The first one... Gek was waving at it went back up to the ceiling and now there's three others and they're chitter chattering. Do I am I able to catch any of what they're saying bef as I cast the spell? Um They're basically saying food, food, it's so, so delicious food. Yes, food. I want the food. It looks so scrumptious. So thirsty. So thirsty. <laughs> Mother won't mind, mind would she? Mother, no, no, she won't mind, no. Just don't uh, to mother. Okay. Nice uh, Metal <laughs> 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 so, man, out. You're probably a piece of that. We'll be fine. Brandy is going to. I will lay you to rest. Move, <laughs> <laughs> move ten feet towards, and then looking up at all these guys and say. Uh, hi! Do you... When did you join the carnival? 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 What's a car 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 carnival? <laughs> um, it's the place connected to where you're apparently living here right now. No such thing, no such thing. This is our nest, nest, nest. Mother knows best, yes, mother knows best. Hungry. Hungry. Thirsty. Uh, would it be possible to postpone any eating? Because I know how to get more food that would be a lot nicer than us. And can I try doing <laughs> some sort of diplomacy role? You can roll me Animal a persuasion. Handling. Persuasion. Fuck. Oh. Can I get advantage because I deal with animals as my job? Nope, you don't never dealt with spiders before. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, persuasion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now we're definitely gonna Hello. die. <laughs> You just watch as you try to persuade the, the spiders look at each other, kind of like their legs kind of uh, weaving around, and you kind of see their uh, little needles sticking out with a little gleam. Hungry. <laughs> no, wasn't fangs just yet. Okay, oh. I'll, I'll end my turn by saying um, five for your lives or else we're all going to be eaten. What? They don't respond. <laughs> oh, I'm talking to the other people around me. The spiders are obviously uh, not very keen on uh, talking. With so, um, 
I cannot do anything else. Nope. Unless you uh, want to move somewhere. <laughs> I move 10. Oh, God. If they choose the fight, then they have chosen death. I'm going to move. Actually, this is a ballista. She's going to take cover next to the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> a creepy ghost girl might shoot you. <laughs> creepy ghost girl and or I go way back. <laughs> or <server> <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's my turn. All right. That brings us over to PB and J. You watch as this weird uh, druid in front of you speaks to these spiders and a weird click clacking sound. And even you watch as her feet are tapping at the ground at herself trying to communicate and you just watch this weird communication but then you see the splinters coming out of their butts kind of with a gleam uh -oh. making it seem like yeah whatever she just did just made it worse <laughs> pb and j's eyes just glow really bright just a car mode engaged we'll show them peace through force <laughs> and uh i will do emboldening bond between uh, the sorcerer and Gek. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, he will choose. Can I see Reach Gek with that? Oh, he's just in the uh, range. Yeah. Yep. Three, Three four, yep. Five, six. Do you guys have a D4 added to your attack roll? Or ability or saving throw? So, so Gek and the Show Whisper. them the meaning of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother! We'll, uh, just kind of get into position behind. Alright. And alright. Well, we'll go back to the top of the turn order now. So, let me refix this. Bloop. So the one who is going up first. Like <laughs> no? I don't like this. You don't like this? What's wrong? It's just spider. <laughs> so the one that's going to go first is actually the blue one. So it automatically just drops from the ceiling right in front of the wrestler and takes a bite at him. That's not cool. <laughs> no, that's not cool. If you beat an AC of 14... Ah, uh, the AC is 14, though. All right. Well, you don't get hurt. So the blue one tries to attack you, and you just feel the its legs wrap around you, and you see its fangs going at your face. But you blue just managed to... <laughs> <laughs> you just managed to reach up, grab its fangs, its pinchers, as it tries to gnarl in your face, and you just feel the little spittle of web kind of fling along your, uh, your uh, cheeks and on top of your mask. But with that, you are safe. Um, I feel like which? Attack. Nope. And uh, multi attack at level one? That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, no. <laughs> the That's purple fair. one Apples. drops from the ceiling. And that was its 30 feet, and it can't go anywhere else. And it's, it's not paying attention to you, uh, the wrestler. It has its eyes trained on the middleman. But it's not going to go anywhere, and that brings us over to Gek. Gek, you are now face. You are still thirty feet away from uh, the pink and the red one. Well, the red one's more like thirty-five away from you, but if the oh. closest one Gek above you is the Gek pink one. Gek sees the blue one, and he's going to mm -hmm. leap off the edge and land directly on and try landing on it. Roll me a f uh, either athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to try to jump me down on top of it when you're hanging with his axe at the same time, but yeah. Okay. Athletics or acrobatics? I thought you were going to try to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in three levels. <laughs> you managed to get on top of it, so what are you going to do? <laughs> no. I'm going to bring my axe down as I'm, as I'm falling. And when I'm within five feet of a source that used to be sorcerer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you would. You can certainly try. Is that advantage? Yes. He like... does get a d4 if he wants to it as well. Mm hmm. Does a 15 hit? A 15 hits. Did you add the. I did not. I'm. 
is that is we're going to save that, or is it just the? Uh, it's a uh, towards so, your attack roll, saving throw, um, or ability you do check. Once, once per turn, you can add a d4 yet yeah, to one of those options. Oh, well, huh? well, you can I mean, save it for. You. you can save it for a save. Yeah, I'll save it for it's my save. Per, once per okay. turn. It's once per turn, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Eleven slashing. Jesus Woo! Wait, How do you want to do else? that? <laughs> oh, oh no! I lay on top of it. It goes face first into the fire. All right. So yeah, it. You basically flip your way over from the top of the pulley, and you feel the pulley kind of like shift at your weight and skirt around to the side, and you just somersault towards the back of it, bringing your great axe down. Not much hitting it in the back, or slicing it into the back, but you're like punting it and you punted it right into the fire and it still had a hold. <laughs> well, not much of a hold, but the wrestler, you watch as it catches on flames immediately and you almost feel the heat come towards you, but you're smart enough to let go. <laughs> Efficient peace-giving and... little one. <laughs> <laughs> it's also made of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> But now the wrestler is no longer in uh, in fear of being eaten. <laughs> what, do 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 now? what do oh, you do now? Oh, it's my turn. Well, well, that one's dead. <laughs> we got we got to punch this one. I'm gonna holster that javelin, and I'm just gonna straight up punch the spider. All right. And that was, you held on to that uh, attack, so which was the... Which the condition never triggered, so it just, I just lost yeah. my action on that round. Okay. So this you're... is just to make sure I get the D8 damage, that's why. Ah, okay. So you're using your fist on yep, the purple. Yep, um, punching the spider on the purple. All right. On the purple. a 14 hit. It does hit. All right, then I will roll damage. How do you want to do it? Oh, no. It only takes five? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I have wasted no. a bond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you know, know. <laughs> I saved rage, so it kind of evens out. So I see the spiders coming over. I kind of tap one of its legs, so it's just looking at me. And as it looks at me, I just punch it straight between the eyes, knocking it out. Oh, yeah. So as you do so, you immediately feel that... <laughs> suction of weird green and black flesh form, form around your knuckles and you just you have got splattered all over you as your impact dealt a very deathly blow and the spider is now dead in front of you and as you withdraw back get, withdraw your hand back it's just dripping and gunk <laughs> do they say anything while they're dying nope <laughs> Well, one didn't really have a chance. It kind of screeched in agony before turning into a barbecue tarantula. The other one just like turned. It's like more like a eh? mm -hmm. kind of sound before being punched in the face. <laughs> and I guess you would say, uh, as the other two are kind of watching the events, they're like, brother, brother, sister, sister, daddy, <laughs> mother, mother. Oh, no. And, yeah. Is there anywhere else you want to move? No. Just uh, commenting that these spiders are not like the people back home. All right. All right. So that brings us over to... Do you the pink regularly spider. punch the people back at home? <laughs> so you watch as from the outskirts of the lantern and what's left of the fire. You watch as the pink one starts fleeing across the top side of the ceiling away from you guys oh no and just you barely hear and as you as it's fl fleeing you just hear it call mother mother and it is out of your sight as well oh, as the that's other what one the list is for. <laughs> <laughs> and the other basically follows after her wait wait mother mother they killed killed I really just want to chuck Dumplemorph at them and be like, go Dumplemorph. <laughs> <laughs> Dumplemorph, I choose you. Dumplemorph, I choose you. Badger. Who's that for? Right. So that brings us now to Brandywine's turn. 
Well, excuse um, me, it's a support badger, not not a murder he's badger. A, he's a mecha badger right now. He's living inside me. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> out of contact. Um, so, <laughs> what... I have sixty feet of dark vision because. Mm-hmm. Let me let me go ahead. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Because roll twenty is a bitch. I mean, no one says it. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? Reveal, not stop it. Difficulty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Play. I would like to do. Excuse me while the. <laughs> Should have totally been a druid at this rate. I could have shape shifted into a mecha badger. <laughs> a warforged druid. There we go. Yeah. All right. So you see that? You see them kind of crisscross along the rocks, making their way down before the hind legs of it. And as you're like looking from where you are at the barista, the drop itself is about sixty feet down. And these guys are skittering down. They're skittering down along the rocks. You just see the back end of their legs and the rumps kind of going down. Can I angle the ballista down at them? I mean, you can certainly try. I Good. Does I it require know. strength? Wasn't there nothing loaded in the ballista? Nope, there's nothing loaded in it. Oh, shit. Are we still in uh, <laughs> combat, or is combat down over? Um. Up to you guys, if you are in pursuit of it. Would you like me to throw you? Actually... Sorcerer should throw a geck, but <clears throat> well, I was gonna say that's a sixty foot drop. I don't think anyone's throwing anyone. He's got a D four in rage. He's good. You he heard a splurt. Mm. You he heard a splurt. Got a splat. <laughs> you don't okay. trust in the in the rage. <laughs> Not at sixty feet. Well, it, is, it is still your turn. <laughs> what do you do, Brandywine? Um. Okay. So, backing up a little bit, this area down here, was this going northwards? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and then there's a this area down here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then Brandy is going to... Okay, so... Would I be able to be within 30 feet of one of these guys if I crossed over here? You will have to make me an athletics if you're going to go into pursuit of them. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> um, all right, well, um, looks like they're going to go find their mother. And it's either find them before they find us. I think we have to keep on going further down e- deep into this. I don't know. Th- this seems like a pocket dimension or something within the carnival. I've never been here before. Then how do we get out? Well, I would have thought that ladder would have done it, but it just showed us who lives here. And the. Was there another way to go forward here? What's a little quick over here? It's like a pulley, I think you described, right? That's hanging yes, over the it edge. it was a pulley. I can mm-hmm. highlight it a bit more. Mm-hmm. If we look That's across the ledge, bridge. okay. Yeah, no, I would say by this it. time as you're talking, the spiders are now gone. They are no longer in your sight. Oh, well, we know the they'll be back in great numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't one. know about that. <laughs> I've seen this movie. You seen this movie? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Treg is here. Yes. So before you guys are uh, talking it up and everything on your next move or option here, I'm going to jump over to the other group that is still drinking tea. So we'll put a pause on this and bring over to the other one. All right. As that's going on, Tomaros and Fee, you're pretty much continuing your way. Um, just drinking away, or, well, one of you smelling away the <laughs> tea and enjoying the weird confrontations or conversations with this uh, knight that, who adores the sun. And you just hear the grumbles of the nearby goblin uh, Triplewise. 
um, just bored out of his mind, not really want to be here, and just just aggravatingly just sighing against his post, and he's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, small goblin. Would you like to what? join us for some tea? Hell no. Have you seen what they put in there? Quite frankly, you're mad. I mean, you. <clears throat> I, I don't even want to get to tell you what they put in there, but I'm going to tell you it's disgusting. How are you Hi. still alive? I wouldn't be so intolerant of other cultures if I were you. I would be if they vomited into one of them. What is this vomit you speak of? Oh, God. No, it's I've got an interesting vomit. texture. Yeah. He just go, he gives a weird look in his eye and just ignores you and crosses his arms, not paying attention anymore. But as you're... As you guys are sipping away, you start hearing something making its way towards you in a very obnoxious sound. Go ahead, Rena, and introduce your character. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I I love that, by the way. That just sets the tone perfectly. <laughs> um, so you hear uh, music coming towards you that's kind of in really stark contrast to the uh music that's just playing around the uh carnival grounds and you almost expect to see like a group of people coming towards you but eventually you just see a singular figure just turn a corner and uh you see a female satyr that's just completely decked out in a one-man band get up uh she has a giant uh bass drum uh attached to her back with like a hi-hat symbol that's controlled by a series of like pulleys attached to her legs and feet she has a lyre uh or a lute rather uh across her body and a pan flute that's rigged to just hang in front of her face like a harmonica would be in a real life one-man band with a uh like a valveless trumpet like a horn uh rigged up next to it so she can switch back and forth between the two she has a lyre on her uh on her hip and uh she just has this uh huge mane of like long curly thick deep red hair and her face is plastered in like this powdery white makeup and she has like jester's makeup painted over top of it like green diamonds and dots around her eyes and a giant green smile plastered across her face and floating next to her is this like spectral uh blue flower where hanging from the tendrils is uh, this top hat. You can kind of hear jingling as it uh, floats by. You kind of surmise that that's where her donations go as she just uh, makes her way through the carnival grounds playing her music. And she has bells hanging off of her horns that jingle when she walks. <laughs> like a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My goodness, what a strange creature. Uh, 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 hello? Over here. Fee's waving to <clears throat> the jangly satyr. What am I going to notice? Fee waving mm -hmm. at me, or okay. Yep. She uh she she stops playing her pan flute, but her uh her drum and her uh lute are still going, and she just kind of turns and just looks at you, kind of stone faced. Oh, hello, new people. Uh, ah, you must be the entertainment. And for the record, we've been here. You're technically the new person. I've been here for quite a while. You are certainly new to me. Did you bring... Sorry to cut you off. Did you bring your character onto the... On the thing there? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's okay. An invisible satyr. <laughs> you, you can certainly hear her. It's actually a rogue. There you go. <laughs> well, um, if that's the case, uh, please come join us. Sit. If you can. That That's quite the um, contraption you're wearing. Oh, you think so? I made it myself. Really? 
oh, that's amazing. I'm so impressed. I, 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 I do know that, you know, I've seen maybe a little bit more compact versions back from home, but um, I didn't know you uh, you had workshops here in the carnival. Uh, do, do, do you work here? Are you a guest? Do you really think that a guest would be wearing something like this? I've seen Stranger. I told you, she's the entertainment. I would assume. She just gives a, she just gives a little rim shot, like. <laughs> well, come, come, sit down. Come join us for tea. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious and crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Out of character. So they gave mm -hmm. us the bad tea last time with like the dirt and the centipede in it, mm -hmm. and I scarfed it down. But didn't we find a tea uh, or teapot of like normal tea? I thought we had yeah. moved to Something another nice. table and we had found the good tea. Yeah, that's what I mm -hmm. thought. So why is that goblin giving us the stink eye? Because he's a grump. He's a grump. <laughs> or maybe the vomit is a flavorant, like that one coffee that's uh, pooped out by a cat before roasting. <laughs> That's yeah, ah. I, I have heard of that and it's disgusting. But who so, are we to judge? So she just kind of shrugs and and just says, Oh, well, I'm due for a break anyway. And she just kind of like shrugs off her uh her drum from her back and it just kind of clatters to the ground. She just drops it kind of unceremoniously and then she uh just walks over to the table and sits and just uh, takes her loot off and just lays it on the table in front of her. So, who are you? If you don't well, mind you me asking. The guests... Well, you first. You are the guests here, after all. Well, this is my friend. Um... I'm Tomiros! I serve the sun! <laughs> and I'm his gnomish companion. I... You serve the sun, I yes. see. In all of its glorious incandescence. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, and then she turns to Fee. Um, I'm. I don't remember catching your name. Oh, it's because I haven't said it yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Suppose we'll just leave it at that then. Well, you may call me Yanara. And then she kind of uh, gestures to the uh, flower floating next to her. And this is Bippy. Bippy? You have a little companion, too. What? Out of character. What is Bippy? It's just a floating flower? Bippy is... A, it's a sprite. Okay. Yep, it's a flower sprite. And as you take a closer look, um, you basically... It looks like it's a ball of uh, green and blue, but and a uh, closer look, you see little black pupils staring at back, uh, back at you from behind the little horns as little tiny little little twig-like hands wrap around it. Oh my, that's so fantastical. I, I have a pet too, though um, it seems to have wandered off somewhere. Domeros, do you know what happened to Dumplemorp? Last I saw it, he went off with the rest of the group. Oh, the rest, rest of the, the rest of the group. Where did they go? Beats me, but they're missing out on some mighty fine tea. Well, it looks like they went to the mystery mine after those kids. The goblin speaks up from before. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was paying attention or anything. The but... mystery mine, you say? What do you think, Tomros? Should we follow them? They are our companions, even if they are strange. Perhaps. Um, Yanara, would... Yanara, right? Right. Okay, good, good. Sometimes my my memory is a little fuzzy, but... Uh, Yanara, would, would you like to join us? Ah... Uh. Why not? I'm done for the day anyway. And um, she just kind of uh, looks toward uh, Bippy and just, you know, kind of gives a little nod. And uh, however it is that I do this, I'm going to have Bippy, you know, just uh, 
teleport away my uh, my drum and my mm -hmm. loot. You watch as, as she looks, uh, you feel the little, you give the little nod to her and she makes, immediately you see tiny little, little flower wings peer out of her back and then she zooms around, immediately clutching her tiny body self into the big drum and you hear the little thump thump before she disappears with the drum. <gasps> and then oh. she reappears within a second and then she flies back over, takes the leer from off the table. It makes a little, and then pew, disappears, and then reappears, and then she basically goes on the table and starts very, uh, basically tw uh, twirling and spinning and gives a little whimsical little tune before flying her way back to um, Yonara's home and clutching herself to it. Oh my, uh, uh, that. Certainly is a, a useful little friend there. Oh, was that, that, was that, that I, I, I must assume it must have been transdimensional uh, teleportation magics or uh, some sort of um, maybe transmutation. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, it's fascinating. You're certainly excitable, aren't you? Well, sometimes. <laughs> This is a very excitable place. As a bubble like uh, floats by and pops. Zerg, <laughs> like we can hear your Zerg laughing in the background. <laughs> like far off, like, oh. Well, anyway. Like otherworldly <laughs> laughter from the carnival. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> All right, well, um, Tomiros, Yanara, let's go and find our friends. I know you will love them. They are just a wonderful bunch, I think. Well, for the most part, they seem very, very friendly. Come, come, come. Excellent. Up. On to glorious adventure and jolly cooperation. He stands Good up great. so hard the chair gets flung back. See, he's very exuberant. I I don't understand his worship of the sun, but he is a joy to have around. You will in time. <laughs> oh, I'm so, so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was more just like a quiet, like, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> she, like, hold out a hand to Yanara. Yen bleh, bleh. Yanara. Yanara. It's a little tricky to do with this accent. But <laughs> hold, holds out a hand to Yanara. She just kind of shrugs and takes it and uh, stands up out of her chair. Lead on, I suppose. And Fee starts Grabs skipping. Fee's other hand and like, lifts, him off, lifts her off the ground, basically. Oh, hi! Okay. Onward! Starts skipping alongside her. You hear the rattle of chain mail and uh, plates clashing together. It's like. Clink, clink, clink. And as you guys are skipping off together and Yanara following behind. Yanara is oh. not skipping. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. <laughs> Yanara's following behind. All of a sudden, a bubble swoops in and just envelops both three of you. And what? you are lifted off into the air. And you're just flying and flying and spiraling. You see the above the circus, and oh. you're looking at different things, and it looks so pretty and distant, like you just were on the dragonfly. Until it pops. Um, and you oh. fall. Oh, dear. And... Oh. Ah, um, ah. Have I ever and experienced you... this before, by the way? Nope. And as Good. you're falling, you're falling straight on down, and you see in the distance railways that twist and corkscrew around and different contractions that looks a little bizarre and then you see crystals forming at you and as they're spinning and spinning they immediately stop and then shoot towards you go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw all of us oh yep the three of you oh dear okay I mean, my okay. zero dexterity. 
Oh, right. oh. There you go. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. So as these uh, crystals are shooting up towards you, almost like in a very, very dangerous situation, you guys immediately start weaving around it, like as if you're being controlled by something and another, and you just feel something warping you around, around them, twirling you in the air as you're falling further down, and then slowly floating into the darkness between these two gaps of the bridge. And then you find yourselves within the bottom layer of this weird cavern. And you hear the sounds of your friends from up above. I'm going to say with that natural 20, uh, Tomeris is doing like backflips and shit, pirouettes. Oh yeah, there. with the backflips and shit, those with Anne saying goes with Inara. She's just like, whatever you're doing, or are you just laying back, just feeling cozy and your little uh, Bibby here was just, you know, playing along on your finger, just flying around happily, spinning around on your little tiny figure uh, uh, digits. And as for Fee, you're kind of panicking. Obviously. She's <laughs> like patting, worried. patting at all of her different pockets. Like you see her like pulling out like bandages and there's other things that uh, there's like a syringe or two that like she's like flipping through. It's like, no, no, no. Um, where did I put it? Ah. <laughs> And eventually, you guys land pretty eas uh, easily and nicely onto the ground. That's where this giant portal is. And Have I ever seen this before? Nope. Goody. And how, as you uh, arrive... How dark is it in here? Oh, I'm sorry. You, um, inside the tavern, you can actually see, you see a little bit of, of torch lights and a little... Fire flickers from the lanterns nearby, and the portal gives you a nice sheen of the glow of the cavern within around you. So it's not, it's kind of dark further off to your right, but you do see some flickers of flame here and there in the distance, but you can't make out where, what it is exactly. But you do hear the sounds of your friends coming a little bit further up above you. And as you kind of glance over, you just see them huddled around, kind of whispering amongst themselves. As Fee hits the ground, she pulls out a miniature umbrella. Oh, here it is! Puff! Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we're safe. Kind of collapses it. Oh, hi! Oh, hello! Hello, small dragon! How we goes it? Small pet thing! Oh, what, you dump on warp? Yeah. Dumbledore, you can hear him go and go scratching and uh, gnawing inside of uh, PB and J. Just like, I'm not hey, I'm here. Here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, PB and I understand what Dumbledore is saying. It's like, <laughs> get me out of this tin can, let me out. <laughs> PB and J just opens up his chest plate. <laughs> go free, little one. <laughs> And he immediately starts booking it towards Fee. Yeah, Fee's like scampering over and pops up the the top of the ladder, and Dumplemorph like tackles her as he hit. She hits the top of the ladder. Oh, Dumplemorph! And you don't <laughs> you don't understand what he's saying, but uh, Brandywine, you pick up. You don't understand what I've been through. They've literally had me swinging <laughs> around, and they almost let me go. And it was terrifying. There was eyes, and there was tentacles, and there was even fire. Did you see the fire? Oh my god! Oh, it's <laughs> okay. The damage that PB would be taking right now if he could understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Dumplemorph. It's okay. Mama's here. You're going to be all right. I am sure Mr. PB took great care of you. Like, yeah, I know he would. He promised. So here's here's the ultimate question. Mm -hmm. Does Dumplemorph understand what Fee is saying? He does. He We're... just basically nudges his head against Fee's face. There, there, there being you go. very nice and relaxed. Can I start scratching behind his ears? Oh, okay. You understand regular people speak. So you have no excuses, you little shit, if you don't follow orders. Hey! Jesus. <laughs> Why would you speak to Dumpon Mop like that? He gives you a stink eye at that. <laughs> I'm only going to be a little bit concerned because, well, if you look behind me over there, there's a little bit of a spider infestation. So, oh. if anything, you should probably get back inside our metal friend here just until after. This is uh, anger out of concern. Uh, well, you I just feel 
see that your badger there just clings to you immediately. Oh, those are very large spiders. Oh, tamper more. Spiders, you love spiders. That's one of your favorite delicacies. We would find them in the workshop and you would eat them and you were just he the shakes happiest. He his head. <laughs> well, well. That's all right. Mom is here. We'll keep you safe. And besides, we have Gak here and um, the muscly man and PB and um, whatever your name is. I don't think I remember it yet. Oh, 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 but we have a new friend. Everyone, and say hello um, to uh, Yelena. And no, for that's anyone, not it. as you look over, <laughs> that's not it. you see a familiar satyr, and, and you know you see Brandywine, you're like, oh dear. <laughs> oh. Hey, Yanara. Really? Oh, that's it, Yanara. Yes, yes, yes. Query. Brandy, Sign what here. <laughs> Sign. What, what the hell? He has a piece or... of parchment that just says peace on it. <laughs> she doesn't take it. She just stares at you and just, what the hell are you? I am public bot enforcer in Justicar, PBNJ designation for short. He's a just... large metal man. That's all you need to know. But he's got a he's got with... a soft heart inside. So don't don't be put off. He's he's very friendly. Just say yes, that you work I had with a carnival. soft badger heart inside me for a short while. Just say that you work with the carnival and that you work with me and sign the paper. It, it's, it's for the best. We're going to have to talk about this later. And then she just uh, rolls her eyes and takes the paper and just scribbles her name down. Affirmative. And hands. Just hands it back to you and just stares at you, really confused. And then turns back to Brandy. Who the hell are these people? You see, the funny thing is, right about the time I was getting off of my shift, they popped in front of my performance. You know, the one with the phoenix feathers. But, uh, oh yeah, that's a good one. And uh, well, they. Seemed like they couldn't kind of needed a guide, and well, the fun hasn't disappointed so far. Did you know that we had spiders at the carnival? I did not. I assume that's what you were dealing with before I got here. Uh, well, if you look, you over see there... the aftermath behind. Yep, you definitely <laughs> see the aftermath. <laughs> One toasted and. And the fire pit, and the other one smashed, and it's to a pulp, and uh, and its face. Can Fee mm -hmm. investigate these? Can she tell if they are natural? Are they like fey magical spiders? Can she investigate somehow? Roll me a nature check. Nature. Okay. Um. I don't think an herbal... While this is going on, Yanara just kind of uh, makes her way over to Brandy and uh, and she says, by the way, you left this morning before I could give this to you. And she just reaches into a rucksack that's hanging off of her hip and she just uh, pulls out a single potato and just hands it to Brandywine. Brandywine pockets a potato and then nods <laughs> grimly. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So with your 12 um, there, Fee, um, as you're kind of like, not even, you're not able to distinguish the one that's caught on fire <laughs> as it is burnt to a crisp. But as you look over to the one that's kind of smashed to uh, smithereens in its face, you look over its body, what you can make out of it. Um, you're like poking at its limbs. It looks like a normal spire, spider. It feels like a normal spider. It's gunky like a normal spider. <laughs> well, I certainly <laughs> haven't ever seen a spider this large before, but it doesn't seem to be, you know, magical or, um, fey. 
Yes, yes, Faye. That's what it is. Yes, I, I, I've read many stories when I was a little girl. Um, but this, no, no, no. It's just a very large spider. Why did nobody inform me that there would be a battle? <laughs> I am deeply offended. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. Um, <laughs> well, in any case, we have a spider problem, and we still haven't found those small kids. Well, goblins are already kind of small, and we need to find those kids before the spiders do, or you, save them. You know that Mr. Witch is not happy about those kids, right? I. That's why I try to try to go find them. Where Where is our other small friend going? Yeah, Gek ran off um, past <laughs> Somaros and <laughs> going Down through the tunnel. Into the mine. <laughs> the mine. And as you're going through the tunnel, Gek, you eventually come to the other side, seeing more of a clearing and another lantern lighting your way. Another <sighs> bigger cavern. Nothing too plain. Just you follow. You're just basically following along the planks and. Your feet pitter patter against the wooden ones, and you almost tumble against the, some of them as they're kind of rickety out of place. Okay, and well, short story. <laughs> the short story is spiders aren't supposed to be here. This space isn't supposed to be here. <coughs> we need to find out what's going on and probably chase after that little. <sighs> he's endearing in his own little way. It almost looks like he's part of the carnival himself with the way his. Well, get, you'll get used to it. Come on, let's all go. What? <laughs> you just hear faint chitter chatter <laughs> coming from Randy behind you somewhere. Randy is going to how, encourage everyone. How to... high mm -hmm. is this this area with the ballista compared to where Gek is? The where the Gek is, um, you do see this little chimney like stairway. It's actually from where you are. It's um, from that to that little clearing is about 15 feet okay you can definitely want to go if you want to climb down those weird naturally uh shaped stairs you would have to make me an athletics check nope nope <laughs> <laughs> i was i was i was debating something else and then i decided the instant oh um gek wait up well, i'll be right down okay v will gek's gonna stand by the fire stair Scamper down <laughs> and around. And Tamiris is going to go join him and stare at the fire. Ah, it is not like the sun. Garden. Are you going to light the bonfire? No, oh wait. Wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say bonfire? <laughs> Does your character actually look like your avatar, Shred? It's a serious question. <laughs> <laughs> Silence is damning. No, because uh, Yanara has just been staring at you for a while, and she finally just you know, <laughs> completely, completely deadpan. What? So, what's your deal? Shred might be muted. He is because I am muted. <laughs> a genius. <laughs> What do you mean, what's my deal? I am the sorcerer. Dun, or at least... dun, dun. <laughs> the man I'd like to imagine that came from Bippy. Yeah, it's, it always plays from uh, PB and J. <laughs> it's just a sensory <laughs> cue that triggers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an Alexa built into my arm or something. <laughs> The deal is I'm a great entertainer. Why the deal could you be referring to? Do a lot of people where you're from seriously act like that? You not understand the culture. She just turns and walks away. <laughs> it was so set up. You could have said, do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> He's a little nicer than that. 
All right. So as you guys are following after your Gek and Brandywine, you guys all enter through the tunnel and make yourselves to another cavern where you see a stack of uh, another pulley system, kind of like much larger um, and a little more structurally found compared to the other one. No spider webs of any sorts. Um, and it's kind of like dangling over on something else, over another cliffside. And you see um, Gek moving on to the left side where she just meets a wall. You just meet a wall. There's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Gek attacks the wall. There is nothing there. It's I think just a that wall. We have, we, we need... <laughs> I think our, uh, we have two members of the party who are very large. I thought the oh, same. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me that shrink you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's that. You There's the body oh. the sun. There you go. Are you implying, Miss? Oh. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, baby! Oh, there he is. It's has got body engaged. <laughs> Guys, you kill me. <laughs> Baby's head just rolls off, and that's all that moves now. He doesn't need the rest of his body. Are you okay? I'm trying to breathe. I'm trying to breathe. You're making me cry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Madam with the flute, what do you mean, what's the deal? Are you Are implying you that we're all here because it was our own personal hell that brings us here? Our struggle? I don't know what brought you here. I never asked. There's probably a reason for that. What in the goddamn hell are you talking about, Sosra? Oh, <laughs> she seems to imply there was some extra reason aside from fun and games that were here. Nonsense. Well, I'm oh. sure it's... You're a call right? whisper of the goblin saying you had a mistress benefactor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerer doesn't remember that. <laughs> no, he's too dim-witted. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the sorcerer suffered too many concussions from a previous line of work. <laughs> so, uh, could one of you find gentlemen perhaps walk in front of us? Just in case, you know, the spiders... Say no more. <laughs> he power walking front. over seems to just <laughs> run ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Let the man do his thing. You can roll me perception checks as you walk. Yes. I will light the way. <laughs> can I do that now, actually? Yes, you can. And I guidance myself to do so. Yes, you can. Uh, perception. Perception's terrible. Oh, that's not bad. Four. That's with a minus two. Hold on. Perception, and then... You don't need it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you can if you want. But <laughs> I mean, because it doesn't really matter if I see what I need to see. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> My rolls are back. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> You? I see you all with no badger in front of me. <laughs> all right. So those who are uh, kind of taking the lead, um, I don't see Gek's perception unless he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Never mind. He's a four. He's paying too much attention to the fire as each time you come across <laughs> one, there's another one and immediately flies over to the next one. Um, Tomaros, you come around the corner following after your very intrigued uh, kobold as he flails to each uh, lantern. But you're looking past him and you want, uh, you can definitely see how there is a lot more of a cave-like system going on. You do see more boards that lead down, some broken ladders here and there. Um, and as you're kind of like looking beyond the cavern wall, you see another 60-foot drop that goes to another cavern below and you barely, just barely make out the carts from Bo, um, that has different stuff in it, but you can't make out what it is. Um, hmm. And you see another railway uh, section from below from another cavern that looks like it 
leads out somewhere. Um, but up ahead, you kind of see the path of the wooden path leading you forward. And, um, and uh, on the right hand side is another 60 foot drop to the cave below. And you see just barely, just barely, uh, the cave, uh, the tracks below in the cave, the cavern below. And that same goes with you, um, uh, the uh, uh, PB and J. You're basically seeing this exact same thing, maybe just a little bit more as you see um, just a tad bit more of a uh, ramp-like system uh, um, going up a hill and then also a winding turn between the long drop below that goes off some, to some place else. Hmm. That you make see that and I'll do that for you you know this is surprisingly well lit for a cave that has a little bit of a spider infestation oh it's just the setup you know there's something else down here well they kept on saying something about a mother so you're not wrong and even as you're walking by you're seeing the, again, some of those uh, cardboard pieces of pickaxes and or buckets or s even fake dynamite sticks here and there um, as you're kind of... As you kind of... Where you first fought... Mm -hmm. Babe, we didn't hear the last 30 seconds. Okay. Nope. Well, Just cut out. I am so sorry. Well, can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was basically saying that um, as you're walking, you see uh, the cardboard pieces of buckets and pickaxes and fake dynamite along the pa walking path, uh, the wooded pathway. And even as you're glancing up above, it looks a little bit much more taller than you were first fighting with the spiders. Um, it's actually 80 feet higher from where as you're walking along this pathway. You barely can make out the little slight glistening of spider webs that are kind of like a little moist with dew and or other gunk. Sorry, who's noticing this again? Oh. Uh, that would be PB and J and Tomros. Yeah. So at the back of the pack. Mm -hmm. Oops, oh, sorry, sorry. Go hmm. ahead. I was gonna say, uh, there are more webs this way. I do not know if this is a good thing, but I sense another glorious battle on the horizon. Uh, the Bane yeah, voice is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and there it goes, leading the Gex pathway. Gex sees the glow of another torch over here. Yes, he does. There you go. <laughs> And I'm you see another. Move. Yeah, just continue moving, I guess, as you're going, I'm unless you guys are making conversation. I'm just trying to move Ooh, 30 feet at a time. But Gek is. All right, well, follow the cool ball. He's braver than almost all of us, I guess. Well, uh, wait up, wait up. And Come back, little dragon. Stupidity does not equal bravery. Okay, so what's down this a ways? All right. Well, as you're looking back down, uh, with the you see another ladder that's covered in spider webs um, that leads further down into the cavern below, and you see a kind of like a um, jumbled rock wall that not really much of a jumbled rock wall, but it's a cave in, I would say, along this ramp and a little bit of a clearing underneath where this ladder goes down to. Um, whoop, and here I am messing up my screen. <laughs> and as you guys are like rounding the corner, you see another patch uh, where supposedly someone was working on the uh, cliff side here, managed to have rocks moved about, um, and the pathway continues to wind away, and you see little more lanterns and stalagmites plastered here and there, um, and mushrooms. But oddly, 
it's kind of weird that you're not seeing anything much of important. There is a floating 20 foot hovering in the distance. 20 foot what? Wow, that's a really tacky font. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody engraved 20 feet into the floor over there. <laughs> Brother, you are seeing things that should not be seen. You need your eyes checked. Error. <laughs> Correction, badger fur still in optical sensors. Will clean. And as you're kind of like rounding the bend, following after the kobolds, um, uh, intuition or adventurous stroke or whatever you call it, he eventually comes across a, a little campsite um, on the further up above as he continues to follow the path. And a little bit more of another lista fashioned here and there. Um, still, there's nothing that is uh, currently in it, but, and you see just the edges of the cavern below of a fake fire pit. Um, and yeah. How much of the ladder is webbed? You can definitely see yeah, that the top of the ladder and a little bit further down, I didn't, um, maybe just like up to here is webbed. Does it look like it, the whole entire thing would set on fire? If I tried burning away the web. You can certainly try. <laughs> Inara, do you think this thing would all burn off if I just tried getting the web? I mean... Uh... I mean, do you think that fire is an especially good listener? Uh... What's the well, worst that could happen? If you have to ask, ugh. I can be a great listener. If you have something interesting to say, or accelerant. Actually, now I'm curious. What does conjure produce flame? Is it fairly dark down below, like past the ladder? Yes, it is fairly dark below. That is what you can make out from what this lantern here um, is intubidating. And you do see some flickers over here by this rock wall. It barely flickers through and you see some patches of light streaking across the cavern below. Okay, we will... But that, the drop below is 60 feet. Yep. So... Sophie will kind of step out on this little platform and lift up one of her now glowing pebbles. Uh, they shed bright light mm -hmm. in five feet and then dim light in another five feet. So she's basically holding like three rock glow sticks at this point. Okay. <laughs> um, that's using the magical tinkering uh, artificer ability. And she takes one and she's okay. like, well, it's fairly dark down there. And just kind of like drops it down to follow like the the ladder. So it, mm -hmm. there is now a glowing rock at the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> and then she kind of... And, yeah, it basically you just see the highlight of the ladder as it falls down. Um, and then you just hear this very faint, distinct sound of the rock clattering against the floor and move a little bit, uh, rolls along the floor, uh, rocky floor and stops. Um, not highlighting much, but enough to where you can just see there's just a blank cavern floor. Well, um, it doesn't look dangerous. Do onwards and downwards! And he, uh, runs the ladder and starts <laughs> sliding Roll down. Roll me a strength saving throw, please! <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think we're stacked on top of it? <laughs> you are now stuck to the ladder. <laughs> um, those palms. Like just a loud metallic bang of. Uh, the... It's not to where you're like actually about to climb down the ladder. Your feet are stuck at the very edge, and you're leaning a little bit, and you feel the webbing kind of like hold you back and pull you forward and pull you back. You're just wavering at the very edge. Hey, Brandy, I changed my mind. I think fire is a great idea. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> me in the glorious fire. <laughs> So, um, Animation is a peaceful way to go. Here, <laughs> here, muscles, you you with the mask and muscles, you hold on to him, and then I'm gonna start cutting the strands with this fire, and she is going to to produce flame. You know, you could call me by my stage name. That didn't do what I wanted it to. No, I there did. There it is. All right, well, you takes a second for it to go through and you immediately see the webs catch on fire and you watch as your, Tomoros, your feet start to turn red. <laughs> as in like the armor starts glowing red? It starts glowing red as the fire is wrapping oh, around you before <laughs> it dies away, but you have a very distinct heated uh, temperature at your feet. Ah, good, some warmth. Well, onwards and downwards. And I would like to slide down. <laughs> I'll let him slide. <laughs> Roll me a dexterity thing. <laughs> dexterity. Dexterity, dexterity thing. thing. Dexterity, dexterity thing. Guidance will dexterity not thing. <laughs> you mean like acrobatics? <laughs> Athletics, perhaps? All right, either or. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, for fun! That's a plus! God damn it. So as you... <laughs> level, spin one. Around... <laughs> level one. Level one. So as you spin around and you grab hold, you're putting your two feet on the each side of the ladder, you start to go down and you hear the... <laughs> of his head going against the... <laughs> each one and the four. Uh... <laughs> Before <laughs> you hear a very distinct crash... As part of the ladder <laughs> breaks halfway through, and you just watch as your friend falls. <laughs> so, Nox, you're gonna... this explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to roll me <laughs> a, um, I believe falling damage. Oh dear. A what now? Falling damage. I forgot what the health tie was. It's 1d6 per 10 feet. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, down. Hold on. I got, based on the number of, I probably got down about halfway. Half halfway, so yeah, it's a 3d6 you're going to roll. Yes. Yeah, is, is he able to make, like, some sort of save or something? Like a, a um, or has he fallen to his doom? He could constantly hit his head every single step, though. Well, I'm just, I'm just curious. Wait, can they still see me? Somewhat. Hmm. Does anybody uh, have a rope? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as the as you're kind of like dinking your head against these boards as you're sliding down, and then the rest of it falls away, and you feel nothing going down. Um, I would say, yeah, roll me a quick dexterity saving throw. Just to see. Mm -hmm. See if you catch yourself at the last second. <laughs> Please, God. Hey. Oh, Yay! Three point landing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As you're about to, you feel the lower half of the wood of the ladder give way. You immediately try to grab what's left, and unbeknownst to your friends, um, you manage to grasp it, not but not with your actual hand, and you are just now dangling. By the saving <laughs> grace of what you are actually are. I was going to say, like, my arms just, like, almost get wrenched out of their sockets. But, like, my arms just extend a little bit. Like, Looney Tune style. Wait, what? <laughs> we noticed that. I don't I... think so. None of us have, no. like, fee might, but he's 30 Dex feet down. Dex are walking away. <laughs> 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 you don't you can barely make out the top of his head but you can't make out what happened you don't hear uh, a distinct okay. loud playing he's of at someone hitting the, he's the at the bottom we heard the ladder we heard the ladder break but you hear not the him ladder fall. break but not, you don't hear metal crashing against the floor so metal resounding in a giant large cavern is this what we just yell fool of a toque seems very <laughs> <like that. laughs> uh, 
spiders. <laughs> and as you're outside, as you're kind of cave. suspending there, you slowly make your way down, unbeknownst to your friends, and your feet touch the ground, and your arms snap off and go right to your side. <laughs> This is Looney Tunes oh, style, like boing, 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 boing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tomatoes, are brother. you okay? Brother, are you okay? The ladder broke. I'm fine. Bye. Would you like help getting back up? I have rope. No, I think I'll explore down here. Try to lower yourself down if you can. At least we know that not to trust any of the structures in here. Yeah, they're designed by some sadist. Probably some kind of dungeon master of sorts. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, um, uh, Perish the thought. Muscle. Meta, anything, this might just Meta be... must be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, this is probably just an unfinished part of the mines. It, the mines aren't something that I usually work in, though. So Usually? Well, at all. I hate the guy that runs it, okay? I try to just stick with the animals. I'm still waiting for my refund when I see him again. Um, I'm s sorry, but things don't exactly work that way here. Uh, uh, muscle Most guy. Punches. Uh, 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 Mr. Muscles. Hmm. Um. You said you have a rope. I do. Well, Pulls out is a uh, fifty feet of rope from the explorer's pack. If you tie it around my waist and lower me down, uh, I'm fairly handy in fixing things. Uh, I could probably repair the ladder. Um, and Ooh, then we could all go join him. Smart. And I like to tie the rope around uh, our artificer friend. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Well. I guess you're taking I... permission. Uh, you said you wanted to go down. You're All right. What? I'm going to cast guidance on the sorcerer when I see this plan in action. <laughs> I'm basically yeah. tying rope around. Uh, I'm just going to tap him back. Cast B. guidance. Assertion. B. Don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's very strong. This it looks like it. I'm, I. <sighs> I would say I'd trust him implicitly if he hadn't lost his name. Oh, Just gives him a big smile. The battle on stage. <laughs> right. Well, think, are you ready? I think so. She kind of tugs at it and checks the knots. Oh, you're pretty adept at tying knots. <laughs> right. Well, then. Let's get you exploring. Down we go. All right, then I assume it's like uh, climbing, like the inverse of climbing a cliff where she's like rappelling down the cliff face. Now I'm just holding it, <laughs> kind of tying it to, at least trying to anchor myself against something. With advantage. Well, athletics, you said, or? With advantage. Yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs> so you lower a fee down to this dark uh, cavern and eventually halfway down you see just the bare image of uh, Tomaros just standing there kind of looking af after himself and um, uh, and just hold right there yeah. Tomaros we're on our way down I just have to wow you really did a number on this letter well it does look old uh, and she pulls out um she kind of reaches into the pack behind her and pulls out this uh, little mechanism. Um, uh, it, it's got like some whirring gears and stuff like that. And a, a large uh, kind of flat, um, almost like a, uh, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's, it's basically like a, a wrench and a pliers. It's a bunch of different tools all in one. Um, and then she's just gonna start using it on the on the ladder and repairing it. Um, functionally, okay. it's mending. <laughs> so she's just right. going basically rung by rung, and this thing kind of rungs along it, and you see it like pick up the broken pieces and you know, tie them together, and there's like an adhesive that comes out, and the whole thing kind of binds together, and she's just adds a couple extra screws and nails. And 
Yep. And you get what? about 50 feet down until you stop because of the rope around your waist. 50 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it one-handed, and I just hear a tug, feel a tug. Oh, I think that's the end. Um, Tomos, can you catch me? And she literally just starts I, I to tie. Like, I just reached up and yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> she she immediately had like when she says this, she starts untying the rope and then just free falls into Tomos' arms. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on, I have the wrong mug. Give me two seconds. I may be strong, <laughs> but boy, am I bad at math. I took it with me to the kitchen while I grabbed my other cup. I <laughs> <laughs> Did you try Dumbledore for me again, or is he with you? Yeah, he hopped off and kind of went back to you, and he kind of he's kind of just cowering in against the rock here. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, I'll put him in my chest cavity again. I think that's why he's cowering against the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Fear not, little one. You bring peace, I will bring you peace as well. Get inside the armored shell. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Do I, do, I, do I still have speak with animals up? <laughs> or is, yeah, is he basically animal? says, no fucking way I'm going back in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you might be for peace, but you smell like crap in there, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wait, I crapped in there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So, um, catching her, uh, I would say, <sighs> yeah, it's, go ahead and roll me athletics, I suppose. Yes. See? Can I do it with advantage? Because the rope is 50 feet. I'm about yeah, 60 I mean, feet and my arms are further too. It's about so a, it's like yeah, a it's about foot. a four foot fall, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Okay, it's not very comfortable as you land against the metal man. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was expecting you to catch you. me with your arms, but I guess your chest is okay. Um, you can put me down now. <laughs> Nonsense! The chest has greater surface area, better for catching. Yes, but knocks on it. Dunk, dunk, dunk. It's also very hard. All right, metal. Uh, May yes. I make mm -hmm. a perception check looking for spiders? You may do so. Can Gek do the same? Yes, I would like you to can. do the same down here. You can. Everyone's oh. a fear of spiders, apparently. Oh, <laughs> no. Alright. Anyone up. else want to make a check? If he calls up. Alright, the, the ladder's repaired for anyone who wants to come down. Alright, so. I got a um, net one. Yay! Yes, you and did. I'm supposed to be the wisdom monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, the My one who really monkey. pays attention um, is Gek, with his weird bubbly eyes. <laughs> um, as everyone is kind of mostly focused on Tomaros and uh, Fee, um, at very at the very bottom of the ridge there. Uh, Gek, as you're kind of like wandering around the bend and going around this campsite, you're looking around, you see, you do see spider webs here and there, um, some clustered on the stalagmite and a little bit more clustered up above the ceiling, above this tent. Um, um, and Brandy, when with your five, you interestingly, you try to look for the spider webs, but then you get distracted by mushrooms. Oh, these look interesting. And Tomaros, with your 13, as you're looking around, still having Fee in your, well, Fee in your face, and you're just spinning her around just to see as you look around the clearing. Um, from what you can tell, you do see that fake pit, you see the rock wall, and the cavern-like uh, entry kind of goes a little bit further down, and you see a broken table. But other than that, you don't see anything else. You don't Is see this, no spider. Uh... It's a fake fire. Yep, fake fire pit. Fake fire pit? Fake fire pit. Can I turn into a real fire pit with some wood and some fire? I mean, you could. It's just, it's Can basically it cardboard. Of wood from, oh. Wait, cardboard <laughs> burns? <laughs> cardboard. I walked over and set it alight. All right. Um, it is now on fire. Okay. Um, the mushrooms are real. 
can I do a nature or survival? Yes, you can make it. Yeah, go ahead and make a nature. Nature? Yep. <laughs> it looks edible. Hmm, so scrumptious and brown. Level Brand one. Level Brandy one. Brandy Wine is really one. showing off her, her druidic and <laughs> <laughs> perceptive uh, um, qualities. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to err on the side of caution and not do anything with the mushrooms and the weird uh, pocket dimension inside of the carnival. Okay. All right. So, Sorcerer, you climb down just as mm -hmm. fine. Um, Yunara is pretty much doing the same, following after you guys. Uh, Reina had to take a leave early, so that's okay. So, we're pretending mm -hmm. to be here. Whoop. And I don't know about the badger. The badger probably staying up above. Badger's going to stay with the one who can apparently understand him. Oh, okay. Staring a little bit strangely at at Brandywine, but she keeps talking to him, so he's like, I, I think I'm going to stick with you. <laughs> well, this is now my evil villain backstory. I was rejected by a badger. <laughs> you want to um, ride up on my shoulder? So, do no. these tents look real? Sure. Do the tents look Did real? Did I say yes? Yes. I'm just saying that there are spiders, <laughs> and it would be more difficult <laughs> for them. Okay. You want to ride inside the metal man? If I had opposable thumbs, I'd go down that ladder. <laughs> I understand All right. it would be arranged. <laughs> Alright, so um, for Gek, Gek, as you're getting closer to this uh, particular uh, tent here, it does seem real from what it looks like. Are you going to touch it? Gek touches the wood, Javelin. He gently pokes at it. You get stabbed. Ah! What? Oh, yikes. And as you you watch, as you touch it, and immediately you feel a dagger slice right through your hand. And as it pulls back, you see a very, very bright yellow eye staring right back at you. I stab the yellow eyes. <laughs> 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 Um, I would say go ahead and roll initiative for those up above, I guess. I think everyone would probably... Yeah, pretty much. You don't know this, but you, those who were Brandywine and, um, PB&J, you notice what just happened as you watch as Gek pulls his hand away, there's blood on it, and yeah, you don't see what's happening, but he's still, he's still in front of the tent, so... Uh, that's 8 plus 5, right? Ooh. I don't. Well, I think do it's just. Advantage? Is it just a five or a key? It's up to you. Hey! Oh my gosh, we both got that twenty initiatives. Uh, yeah. I, a, I forgot to bring my token on. That it helps if I bring a, the token on. A key. What? Do they have advantage on that attack? They. It was a surprise. It was a surprise attack. If I can bring my character sheet onto the map, that would be great. Oh, dude, I would. I swear, roll twenty. <laughs> Is a curse to me right now. There we go. Yeah. So that was advantage on their end, right? It was advantage on their end, yes. It's a 19. Falls over. They... <laughs> so it was a 13 damage to get. No, through. it. Yeah. Yeah, if it. Five. You take 13 points of damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Oof. Oof. What was that? Uh... I'm. Little <laughs> scaled one. Stop in the name of the witch light. I have to reroll the thingy, so one second. So that was actually a 12, so... Alright, so those who are rolling initiative, I don't see everyone's initiative in here. Uh, are we all rolling, or is the ones up top? Yeah. Well, it's structured time. Everyone's structured time. 
And rolled mine. I don't know if it added it or not. Nope. Okay, how do I add you? <gasps> Look at this. An initiative that isn't one or five or three. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. And then I could do it. If only I'd slightly <laughs> healed up beforehand, that would have been at one HP. Uh, Hello? Uh, how, ah! how long has it been since we had the fight with the spiders, roughly? It's about roughly 12 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So you've been exploring. Just long enough, my bond to have gone away. Just I'm long sorry. enough, I can't talk with animals anymore. <laughs> Are you calling that thing an animal? Dumplemorph. Dumplemorph. <laughs> All right, who am I missing? Um, it was Gek, but now he's. Well, Gek oh, I need to... still needs to roll initiative. Yes, to he be does. In the order. In order to be in the order, go ahead and then. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> <Another> <laughs> There we go. Wasting initiatives. Nat twenties. My goodness. All right. So yeah. Um the one you Brandy one, you just watch as your friend gets immediately impaled by the hand and fall <laughs> right in front of a tent. <laughs> With the cry, apparently. Six. Okay. Um so for the Nat twenty aspect of it, mm -hmm. can I try identifying what this thing is? Uh, roll me a... I believe it's... Roll me, I guess roll me a nature check. Okay, 15. Alright, so... Never really seen one before, but for what it looks like, it looks like a almost goblin-esque in a way, but it has more of a palish look to their face, more twisted and teethy, um, pointed ears, very, very bright eyes. Um, from what you recall through your training and being traveling through the Fey world, you believe it to be a darkling. Do I know enough about them? Are they kill on sight? Can they be reasoned with? Um, they're kind of pretty much like a hmm. <clears throat> what are what is Mister Witch and Mister Lights? What are their opinions on these guys? They never seen them, but um, from what you know. It's it kills things <laughs> unpleasantly. <laughs> okay, that's enough, that's enough of me. Um, <laughs> so Brandy is going to good things? job. You killed Treg. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy is going to cast Healing Word on Gek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, he's gonna go down again. Wait, damn it. Ah, uh, level one, level one. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna do healing word on Gek. Okay. What you got? Hey, seven feet. All right, your life comes right back to you, uh, Gek, as you just feel something sharp go through your hand, and you fall back in the darkness, and all of a sudden you feel. A very whimsical flute play in the background and butterflies fluttering around you. And you see light wrap around you in a very fuzzy way. And then your eyes oddly blink. The dream is shattered <laughs> by, get up! <laughs> oh, my head don't go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brandy is going to go back. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And yell down at everyone. Help, there's something bad up here. It it try it's trying to kill Gek. Oh, Not right. the dragon. 
Okay, that, uh, that's my turn. to the ladder. All right, that. I, it's not your turn. Time. <laughs> structured time, uh, unfortunately. Right, forgot about that. <laughs> Never ever us split is up Faster, we both roll the same. Um, we let's the same determine. Roll. Huh? We are determined. Oh. Let's dexterity. We have the same dex mod too. Yeah, so we have the same oh, dex God. mod. We roll the same nat twenty one. We right. could just Water, roll. Heads or tails? Uh, I'll call heads. Rollies. All right. It is actually Peace Bot's turn. <laughs> You'll know his peaceful ways by force. <laughs> his eyes flare again as he sees uh, the little lizard one go down and then get back up. Um, show him. The true meaning of peace through whatever it is you do. <laughs> he is going to cast that's touch. Sanctuary. Alright. On Gak. Sanctuary. Oop, I didn't mean to throw that <laughs> twice. Um That's alright. Oh, that's a bonus action. Shit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, <clears throat> I can cast a cantrip. Uh, right. We have the cantrip. Yep. So I will do that, and I will do. Told. Can I see this thing? Is it actually like outside the tent, to like visible? You see an eye. All right. Well, I'm gonna try and cast Told the Dead at it. <laughs> okay. Um, I I lift up my arm, and you just hear like I just start shaking my arm like an old man, but you hear the jangling of bells start being summoned forth. Um, and that's a wisdom, dead. and it is a wisdom saving throw against me. All right, takes uh one d twelve. Is it injured? Nope, it's not injured. Oh no, I. It's a one d eight. One d eight. That's not okay. Well, all right then. Let's go with a three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hear the bells of peace, mm -hmm. and it and immediately hears the bells as it whacks it in front of its eye, and you just hear a oh, shit, shit. <laughs> and yeah, it takes two points of damage. All right, I'm back away, and you back away. All righty. That is in your turn, and now it's the sorcerer's turn. Do, 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 do. Go ahead. Do, 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 do. Well, I think there's 60 feet here, and uh -huh. I'm just going to spend my entire turn climbing up the ladder. All right. Using an action to dash. That's you the end have. of my turn. <laughs> is there? I'm any... coming to save you, brother. Is there a nat 20 advantage? Or a... Brother. Brother. <laughs> Uh, with the nat 20 effect, I would say, um, you make it... You bring me with you! <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, you're kind of stuck in Tom Rose's hands, I think, right? No, I hopped oh, off. Oh, yeah, okay. I hopped down. Okay, good. Just double checking. Down, I would say, with your natural, natural 20, I would say with your natural 20, uh, it will go, you make it up, and then, um... With vigor, I'll just say your movement makes you go all the way up, um, yep. and then you have your action still. Can I use my action to dash even farther? One, yeah. two, three, four. Boop. I think it's six. One, two, three. One, One more. two. Okay. There you go. I'm coming, brother. <laughs> brother. All right, Yanara's turn. Um. Kind of unsure what's going on here. She is, uh... Well, she hmm. heard Brandy say something tried attacking one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She also just met us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she's like, she's kind of like debating, do I want to do this? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> but it's Brandy wine, And, um, she'll make her way. She'll use her action to get up the ladder. 
And I believe she has 30 feet of movement. So 35 feet of movement, actually. Hey, yeah, that's right. She's a satyr. She has 35. So technically she makes it to right here. <laughs> or, yeah. Here, to, it's actually there. There we go. And then it's V's turn. Oh, um, well, we should get up the ladder. Uh, Tomaros, come on. And she'll move. So it's 50. I almost moved my token when you said that. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> so Let's go. 15 feet to the ladder. Mm-hmm. And I have 25 feet of movement, so I have a total of 50. So I get about halfway up the ladder. Yeah. With my dash. Yeah. There you go. I'm halfway up the ladder. All so right. 30 feet up. That brings us to the Darkling's turn. The Darkling, seeing as um, he met, he pulls back from being hit by an eye by some kind of bell, barely takes his um, basically makes his way through the tent, just through the hole that he just made with his dagger. Gets in front of Gek, and he's like, "You're supposed to be dead." And he's going to do another dagger attack, but oh, it's God, not with again. advantage. <laughs> not with advantage this time. So he's also he protecting his roll with some with some saving throw again. Sanctuary. Yes, he does. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. <laughs> uh, he choose a new target. You must choose a new target or lose the attack if you can. Three. All right. Does he get to move? Uh, uh well, he moved through that, so that's fine. Uh, he has thirty feet of it. So, see, doesn't okay. avoid Gek after being shunted by something. He immediately moves to the side, eyes him, before looking over to the middleman, I suppose. Um, so that was 10, 15, 20, 25. And then that does provoke an opportunity attack for Gek. Yay! All that damage. Motherfucker. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> so instead of like the blade coming down, it's just a flat the axe and just mm, flans him against the ground. Okay. You so said yeah, you're knocking sure. him unconscious or killing him? Oh no, this is full strength. Okay, you kill him. <laughs> By the way, for uh, Sanctuary, you don't get to move after to choose a new target. Oh, well, there you go. There's your reason. You can move, but you can, once the target is chosen, it's saying the method of attack has already been chosen, so you have to choose something that can immediately be done. Mm. So you're saying he's not dead yet, Salty. <laughs> he can still move. He can still freely move, but he can no longer use the attack. The attack is lost okay. since he couldn't use it immediately. All right, well, he's dead anyway. Already determined. He's dead anyways. <laughs> Okay, well, no sh- for future <laughs> clarification. Hold my hand! <laughs> <laughs> Hold your hand. <laughs> you will be a okay. fine peace giver, little lizard one. <laughs> well, yeah, um, with your punting with the backside of your uh, great axe, you. The way the, the way you just basically, after seeing the death hit your eyes and you're just seeing this guy flee after or charge away from you, you just whack him against the back of his head, and uh, let's just say you broke a piece of his disc in his spine. And he falls dead. <laughs> so... No. Yay, no return order! He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna rush over to Gek, grab him, look like square in the eyes, which one? Query. Little one, when you were near death, was it peaceful? <laughs> you just had my hand. <laughs> Error. That is not the answer I, to the question. Was it peaceful? But my hand hurts. <laughs> Does not compute. So you can move up the ladder if you wish. Unless he wants to stick They're up. still holding you, but he's just staring blankly as his eyes kind of dim as he's trying to process your answer. Um, I would G- like Gek's just seen this thing get you too, but one eye is just like lazily <laughs> looking off in that direction. I would like to investigate this thing's corpse. 
Alright, you investigate. Roll me investigation. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. You find within his robes a dagger, a necklace filled with teeth. Necklace of teeth, I should say. And about two gold pieces on his person. Is everyone else going to congregate? I don't know. Tomaros is still in the cavern looking at his own fire that he created. <laughs> I, I literally did not get to act before combat was over. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I'll oh, just willow in pity. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> One is the loneliest number. <laughs> right. I mean, while I'm here, can I move forward a bit and do a perception check? Yeah, you can do that. Oh no. <laughs> now he gets stabbed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh crap. I keep forgetting I have negative two in perception. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, goodness. so as you're looking, um, even with your dark vision, um, you're looking down this tunnel and you think you see something and I have to move some of my names out of the way because they're in my way. Because <laughs> of Hi, why? Why do you do this to me? Stop it. It just becomes more darkness. Um, you see more of the cavern a little up ahead, but don't you just see more rock wall and more of a cavern. That's all you see. Well um books. <laughs> What is everyone else doing? Oh, Gak, uh, uh, you're bleeding! Uh, give me, come here, come here, come here, come here! Give me your hand, I will bind it! And... Why, why, what's up? What, what is this? Is PJ still holding on to me? Hey, he's kind of loosened his grip, but he's still staring blankly at you. Gak's still staring back. <laughs> Fee is oh, pulling, pulling out romance. bandages and starts wrapping, oh, no. wrapping Gek's hand. <laughs> whether he wants it, whether, whether he, uh, can't hold it out to her or not, but he's he's starting to <laughs> bind her. No, get just get just standing there, limp, just staring. Not saying, just hanging there, being held limp. Get, you need just to be more careful. Well, you can't just Someone go wandering off on your own. Oh, it's huh? a tent. Oh, oh hold. Is dragging out PJ's no. arms. Ho hold still. Please. I'm not done wrapping your bindings. A tent. Oh, the tent can wait. It's just a tent. Note! Shinies! Hold still! <laughs> okay. And with a, Anyone. A, a tug, <laughs> she finally tightens the uh, the bandage. Okay! Now you may go look at the tent. Gek scrambles, scrambles away. <laughs> look, look, like running all fours uh, into the tent. As you're going into the tent through the makeshift hole that the Starkling made itself through, you look in and you see um, uh, a, basically a bedroll uh, kind of covered in blood and unnecessary things, and you could have sworn you see a spleen. Tell me. Oh, dinner! <laughs> 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's You're, all that's in there? That's all that's in there. Are you gonna oh. investigate? Careful, the train's coming. <laughs> can I investigate? Yes, you can investigate. You find the spleen! <laughs> <laughs> the only interesting thing is the spleen. Yeah, pretty much. It's, everything is pretty nasty inside. There's bugs flying. There's uh, the bedrolls covered in blood and meat chunks of different kinds of creatures. Um, and you see some bones here and there. 
it just looks like this darkling was pretty much in the middle of its feasting until you came up and touched his tent. Jack's gonna come out holding this bean and Hey, look what I found! Oh. Mm -hmm. Gek, what? Is that a spleen? Yeah. Why is there a spleen in the tent? Food? Ugh. That's disgusting. What is this creature? Is, is, well, is, it, is it dead? I'm pretty sure it's Dead. You can it's roll kind of... me a medicine check to see what it is. Oh, I'd love it's to roll a medicine bent. check. <laughs> it's kind of bent weirdly. I don't. I'm pretty sure most things aren't supposed to bend that way, as far as its uh, spine's concerned. God damn it! Roll better dice. So as you're kind of like looking over it, I don't know if you want to if you're touching it or whatever. Um, you're looking over it, and you, with your knowledge, you're like. Eh, maybe humanoid, but it's not humanish. It's a little darker in color, and it's it's blackish green in some places. Knowing that it's a little old, but as to what it is per se, you don't really know. Well, it's just disgusting. <laughs> well, some of the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spleen. <laughs> oh, I think it belongs wait. to it. He drops on his face. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. If it belonged to it, it would have some sort of incision on it. Gek, please remove the spleen. It, I think it might be some sort of goblin, maybe corrupted or oh, something. I'm not sure. Some of the I've heard some of the other hands sometimes talk about things that prowl the Feywilds, and this looks like a. Um, I think they call it a darkling. They're kind of well, they they're not nice. Well. I guess it's good then in, that it's not going to be bothering us anymore. Yeah, but it looks like the spiders didn't bug it. Or never found it. I'm very concerned about where this place is. Fee leans forward and looks right at uh, Brandywine. Did it bug it? That was a very good pun. Yeah, you just hear coming from you, Nara. <laughs> Brandy looks over at Yanara. Hey! She basically gives you finger guns with an unamused smile. <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's not going to bother us anymore. Um... The level of damage that was done to its its spine here is, um, well, it would definitely take a, a lot of corrective surgery to fix. But Randy pokes over their staff. Is that really necessary? It's dead. Can it be dead in peace? Squish. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I am a professional physician. I believe my opinion is all you need. Oh, you're a physician? Well, yes. Why do you think I have all of this? And she's like rifling through and pulling out bandages and there's a scalpel in there. And... Oh, yes. I'm, I'm a traveling physician. You never said anything about it. I don't want to make assumptions. You never asked. I never assumed. So well, we're at an impasse. Yes, I am a physician. Uh, I was traveling with a, a merchant crew um, until I found our way here. I, it's very strange. I don't remember how I left the merchant crew and how I ended up here at the, fa uh, the carnival, but um, I certainly am glad that I've met all of you. You are fascinating and entertaining. Especially that one, she points over a gek. Indeed. Gek, are you okay? She's going to go 
go to the edge of the cliff and then yell, Hey, Tomoros, get back up here. We need to stick together, I guess. No idea what else is running around. But this tunnel! Let's clear the top level first. Fine! Starts making his way back, and you hear, like, <laughs> you hear the thing, the, the sound it made when he was going down, but in reverse, <laughs> like, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> All that effort to fall down the ladder only to be coming right back up. <laughs> but now it's a repaired ladder. Yeah, for now, so he tries again. <laughs> well, there's okay. no fire up there. Working infrastructure well, is its own reward. We are down a new party member, and it is almost twelve ten. No, it is twelve ten. Uh huh. Twelve eleven. Before we go. Oh yes. Come to walk over and do some lay on hands. How uh, how badly are you hurt? I'm half. That that means nothing to me. I'm I'm seven out of fourteen. Okay, I'll do five points of lay on hands. Oh, that is all Ooh. you have. <laughs> Small yeah, dragon, you seem hurt. I just like <laughs> I poke him in one of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is representative of the time. This is your preferred method for taking in the sun, yes? Nice! <laughs> any, any, pain, any pain that is caused by me poking you in the eye is like immediately quelled. <laughs> you feel this like warmth going in through your eyeball. My finger is glowing. Mike, like you see a glow from under the helmet. <laughs> Fee is looking on aghast. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing to Tom Ross? What are you doing? Healing? <laughs> By poking him. In... <laughs> God, it burns. <laughs> it burns so good. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> let, leave him alone. Brandy let let him go. I am losing my shit in real life. <laughs> so is Brandy. <laughs> Fee is like you heal five points of damage. <laughs> Fee is like trying to push Tomoros away, not successfully because he's like four or five times her weight <laughs> without armor. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> Have you, have you, have you, uh, um, you hear grumbling, stupid clerics and their healing magics and... How do you feel, small dragon? I don't like you. <laughs> you will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and as you guys are con. Uh, conversation with one another, you start hearing rush footsteps coming towards you and then a very small cry saying, help, help, they're chasing after me. And then there's this little tiny girl in a uh, black dress with a little tiny top hat that kind of covers her face and flowing white hair coming up. Eep and she's like... She's like... <laughs> this isn't all near. She's basically running from the darkness, and you can see the fear in her eyes as she's looking back behind her and behind her, and you hear scuttling of sorts chasing after her. I guess huh? magic Tamara? missile at the darkness. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just like <laughs> he just like unclips his mace and starts charging in. All right. Fade to black. <laughs> yeah, fade to black. I get to there. I will be beside the child. All right. She immediately clings to you. She's like, "Please, please save me!" I don't. I almost hate me. And she turns into don't a do vampire. Don't do that. It's gonna poke your eyes. 
You're feeling that bad, don't you? No. Liar. Liar. <laughs> And we'll just end off from right there for you guys. We'll end the session right there. Do we want to roll so, initiative before we end? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Level one. Level one. Level one. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get to level two soon. Wait, are we rolling initiative again? Yeah. Oh, we'll just we'll roll. So how about we roll initiative next time? <laughs> Aha. What's the matter? Oh dear, you guys see, you wasted all of your nat 20s. I'm still contemplating. I got one! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so we're rolling initiative next time. Perfect chat <laughs> log. Wow! That is so <laughs> impressive. Oh, Yanara is ready. I guess it is well, canon. I just have a printer built into my arm or something that I can print off our obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. Let me put that in. Is she in the turn order? There she is. Morning. Why is it that my name is inside the turn order and nobody else's is? It's, Mine is as well. You see your own. No, oh, you, it, see your own? you have to. It, there's a setting for it. Um, uh -huh. There's a setting where you can put your name into uh, boxes. Well, no, I know on the, the chat feed or the roll feed, but on the turn order, I see my name on my. Oh, side. oh, that's that's normal. You see your own name. That's yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah, in the turn I order, you see fresh. your own name, but no one else's. Oh! Hmm. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> oh. Babe, if, you're, if you have multiple ones... Hmm? If you have multiple creatures and you roll initiative off of the token, mm -hmm. just make sure you don't delete the token because that also deletes it in the churn order. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. So uh, It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is your first carnival. <laughs> it is my first carnival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to get to come out of that tent saying I got some explaining to do. <laughs> but I had no right as the character to say it. <laughs> hey, oh, did I roll a natural another 20 for this? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Say that joke again. What? No, no, no. Salty. Oh, I've got some explaining to do. No, the other thing. Uh, Obituaries? Yeah, oh. Yeah. It, what? You know what? All the above. The... <laughs> it's not her first it was not her first rodeo but it's her first carnival mm -hmm. and then it's uh, is Gek came out with a spleen so he has some explaining to do so how much would I have to charge for a magic item to have that sound play basically <laughs> from like my vocal <laughs> box I mean, you can get cursed by just having, you know, every time you say it, the sorcerer, you have. Da, 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 da. Actually, the artificer has I magical tinkering. I have tinker. magical oh, yeah. tinkering. The... I can do all of this. <laughs> That's we also funny. have a one. We also have a walking one man band or one woman band, one satyr band. Satyr band, yeah. No, one but um, magical tinkering here. Let me post it. I can Synthesize create light. Me. So I have the three Modify pebbles. Me. And the three pebbles that make light, I can have something that speaks a message. I can have it have an odor or a sound. So keep smelling because there's a goblin who smells like fresh pastries mixed with like lavender. Because we sprayed their scarf before they ran away, way in the last session. Or I can create a, a visual effect. Yeah, I I could give you a sound, uh, but it does. It can, we could we could probably. 
homebrew it that it's not continuously emitting the sound. Oh god, is that an audio trigger? Yeah, you said this is a little girl? Mm -hmm. She's actually 800 years old and... <laughs> Anime I'd be more worried if it was like... I'd be more worried if it was like Prisea from Tales of Symphony. It's like, I'm a little girl. I carry an axe three times my size. So Gek. <laughs> So basically, yeah, basically Gek, but an this anime is, girl. This is Gek's, this is Gek's anime waifu. <laughs> Wait, how old is Gek? I don't Why say eleven days. I never know. Thirteen days. Thirteen days. <laughs> it explains a lot. I'm seven. Holds up two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are missing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How do you wield that great axe? Oops. Very well! <laughs> it's just taped. It's glued to his hand from something he touched. He doesn't know what it was. Yeah! I win! Haha, <laughs> 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 you died now! 